Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I like coffee. I like tea. I like the Java Java it likes. Well, it doesn't like my singing, that's for sure. We had a question submitted through YouTube, I believe, from John Charlton. It says, hello, Chris. I've been watching your excellent videos for quite a while now. I have excellent videos? Okay. I have a question about updating Java. When you update Java, should you ever uninstall the old version or just leave it where it is? I have the old 6.1 update on XP Home. Can I remove it? Also, how much does Java pose as a high security risk if it's not updated? Uh, well, he's likely talking about the Java runtime environment uh, that allows Java apps to run on your computer, programs to run that were written in Java and compiled specifically in Java, uh, or possibly even Java applets that happen to be on web pages. For those of you that have been hanging around live.perillo.com, for a while. Well, Henry, it's not exactly like Flash games, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, in the beginning, live.perillo.com had a Java-based IRC chat room. That was before SC Thor had uh, fully developed a better Flash-based IRC client. Uh, and the reason why is because Java in the browser, at least as far as Windows and by and large Firefox or Internet Explorer on Windows in relation to Java-based applets running inside the browser, uh, kind of slow, in fact, clunky, and very, 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 bloated is a word you could use, I suppose. Um, now, that doesn't mean that the whole of Java is horrible. By all means, the nice thing about Java, well, in the beginning, the idea was to write once, run anywhere. And for all intents and purposes, that's exactly what Java code can do, specifically uh, an applet that runs in the browser so long as it's, you've got the latest runtime for it. And by the way, if you haven't already downloaded it for free, sun.java.com or just java.com, and it will even run a check to see if you have the latest version installed. Now, I'm not exactly sure why Sun decides to keep the old version when it installs the new version. That being said, once you've installed the new version, if you run into no problems with it, it's safe to uninstall the the old versions by going through the add and remove programs applet inside of Windows. Now, if you happen to be running OS 10, it manages Java in a different capacity. And I can tell you this, um, after experiencing the same kind of Java apps, I find that it's far better on OS 10, and they look a lot better on OS 10 uh, than on Windows. Now, again, that's just kind of personal experiences. And again, the, the Java that I'm talking about is not the stuff that's running at the server level, JSP, uh, it's the stuff we're talking about here on your desktop, in your browser, or possibly a program that you downloaded uh, from the internet that does one thing or another. Azurius, a popular BitTorrent client, is written in Java, and that is one of the reasons why it runs cross-platform, and some other BitTorrent clients don't. So Java is a good thing to have. Uh, I I even if you never use it, the nice thing is, is unless you're using it, it shouldn't be running. So it's a good thing to have, uh, always have the latest version of. As far as uh, posing a high security risk if it's not updated, um, it's a good idea to update it. I don't know if it's anything that you install can be a high security risk. It depends on the exploit. Um, and, and by and large, a lot of uh, you know the software updates are applied because of security risks that they may pose. I mean, how do you define a high security risk versus a low security risk? I suppose it boils down to a matter of semantics, but as far as you're concerned, you know, it's a safe thing to have the latest version with all the security updates installed, unless, of course, you run into problems, and in which case, you know, go for that uninstall button to roll back. Uh, anyway, I don't know if anybody has any Java optimization tips. Believe you me, I'm looking for them. I've been looking for them ever since Java reared its, well, rather ugly head a few years back. I appreciate what it is and what it can do, but it's just never been very performance-driven at, at all. Ugh. So, uh, anyway, leave a remark, follow-up, comment, whatnot. What do you think of Java? Do you think it's going to be around for the long haul? Is it going to be replaced by Flash, you think? Uh, I certainly think that Flash is a lot friendlier and certainly can be a lot cleaner 
uh, in, in terms of the way it renders inside a, a web page. Of course, it's also very CPU intensive, but, you know, they're talking about updating the Flash Player to the new HD version, uh, which would allow for full screen MP4 acceleration in the hardware rather than just in the software, and Java is all software, at least as far as your desktop's concerned. Anyway, let me know, or of course you're welcome to swing by our chat room, which, by the way, if you go to live.perillo.com, is a Flash client now, not the bloated Java client, which worked well for as long as it needed to, but we've moved past that now, and the performance is, I don't know what the hell that was, c'est magnifique, and that was horrible French, but I started this whole recording with the horrible singing, and hopefully you made it past that point in my horrible little whatever the hell that was. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll hear from you soon. If uh, I'm not active in the chat room, other people are certainly 24 hours a day at one URL. That's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.